Oh, big fucking pothole. Holy shit. That is a three bedroom, two bath pothole. What the fuck? So I was gonna get a throttle lock and a helmet lock. That's what I was gonna get. Might as well get some sun, roll up the sleeves. I should have just went with a sleeveless shirt too. What's this guy waving at? What? All right, weirdo. It's like, yeah, I have a Harley. Are you throwing up gang signs? Like, what is up with this guy? Hey. Oh, he looks crazy, man. He's probably gonna shoot me. There's a lot of gangs out here. Hopefully he doesn't shoot me in the face. But we'll see. Okay. Hit. It's real hit. Solo bag, helmet lock. Throttle lock, highway pegs, and what you call That's what it is. Helmet lock, throttle lock, highway pegs, slip-ons, which obviously I can't carry. And then side note on slip-ons, or I need a shorty half-inch socket for my quarter-inch socket wrench. Or three eight, whatever that's called, three eighths soccer wrench. I don't know. Because, yeah, let's guy go. Oh, low on gaze. So that's a first, getting the uh, low gas symbol. So, didn't want to get haunted gas though and fall my face again. So, we'll uh, get something up by Randall here. 32 miles remaining. Never ever, ever smoking crack, crack. God, I'm just riding the crack. Man, it's right in that crack. All right, so I need gas. I might as well get a water bottle. And I should have really put on some sun, sun guard, sun shield, sun, sun block. I should have put on some sun block. But what ifs? So I should probably turn right and get gas on Randall. The BP seemed to work real well. I boycotted them for like 15 years because they had that horrible spill. Which I'm sure they all have, but gosh darn it. Man, I feel my armpit sweating and hitting my gut. How gross is that? I don't think I'll tell you guys that. It's so gross. Yeah, uh, not my gut, but you know what I mean. I felt my armpit sweat drip down and hit my side. Sounds like a Led Zeppelin or a door song. So the juice runs down my armpit. That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, I learned I gotta, it's nice to enjoy the scenery, but I gotta check my mirrors like all the time because people just pop up out of nowhere. I check my mirrors, but I realize I gotta check them even more often than I'm doing now because somehow I've managed to be surprised by some Oh, come on, people. Really, you're gonna go, you know? When, when, like, I have my brights on, and when you're gonna almost go because, what, you didn't see me? No, you're just in a hurry and you're antsy. That's why. That makes you a d I'm low on the fuels. 23 remaining. It's probably the lowest I ever let it get. I've never had the light come on before, so. Of course, I was riding in the winter a lot where you didn't want it to uh, get that low, so, you know, and I'd have to store it for a month or something, so. Look out for this Yahoo f And Uncle Fester was gonna go, I could tell. Don't go, Uncle Fester. Oh. I don't know, he looked like Uncle Fester a minute ago. No, he just looked like a normal dude. Normal bald guy. Come on, cars. Anytime today. I'd go out 47, but there's less f gas stations. So, here's a shell. Let's see how shell treats us. I don't think I've had a problem with shell, so. We'll fill up on some nice high octane shell gas. I'm not paying attention. I don't know why. Whoa, big fucking pothole. Holy shit. That is a three bedroom, two bath pothole. What the fuck? I always keep it rolling because, I don't know, this will be quick, I hope. Uh, no, it's not a debit card. Oh, it's hot. Come on. Okay, you're getting the 90. 
93 octane, baby. 93 octane. So I never pull the handle all the way in. I just do it halfway because I, and even then it still spills. So I don't know why. Splashes, spills, whatever. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank God. So then I do these little quick pumps and I get a whole nother like half gallon in there. Well, I never measured it, but so is it what, three and a half? Why is it still shooting out? All right, I need some water. So three, I got a quarter gallon out of it, whatever. Oh, I need a Red Bull or a Monster, whatever. Either one. That's liquor. I don't need that. <laughs> Not yet. I got many Monsters. Look at that. I wish they had a Monster with a lid so I could like drink it and keep going. Which means I'm probably going to go Red Bull because they smaller. Where's the regular Red Bull? I need a snack, something that won't melt. Uh, he's slinging jingle. Uh, uh, hmm. All right. I gotta down this Red Bull so you're getting the sky view so I don't have to resync my audio. I just realized you guys can't hear me because my microphone's here. When I push up my modular helmet, I don't have to worry about wires or nothing. It's all, I'll show you sometime. It's all, there's some ugly tape on the outside, but I got it all coming through the helmet, up, out, chucked into the, ch tucked into the cheek guard. Uh, it's crazy. So it uses up a lot of extra wire too, which then you have less to stash in your helmet. So, all right, sky view again. Well, I drink my Red Bull. Gave her some fuel. Nice. So I don't river anymore when I start it up because I don't know, I was doing that and it kicked out and died the one time. So again, it was maybe because of fuel or something weird, but <clears throat> but I don't really know. So, all right, now we got a full tank, 93 octane. We have 204 miles remaining, it says. So it took 3.74 gallons, three and three quarters. And it said I had only 20 miles left. So like probably, what is it, a half gallon? So I'll have to look up if this is a four and a quarter gallon tank or what. I thought it was like, yeah, like four and a half or so, but you never know. It only took three and three quarters, and that was with me pumping it. Pumper nickel. All right, let's go to uh, Woodstock Harley and see if we could buy some stupid crap. There's a nice three bedroom. Oh, that was the two bedroom, one bath. That's the three bedroom, two bath pothole. So if any of you guys are in the market, there you go. Oh, something my eye. There we go. Oops, sorry. We're going to head west. Uh, up ahead somewhere breeze feels really nice and uh we're gonna get west to route 47 and take that all the way to woodstock harley oh that's what i was gonna ask that guy for was uh sun spray crap and i should have bought a bottled water oh i'm a moron whatever what street is this yeah i don't know what the hell street this is Add rocks down with the uh, Oni. So that looked like a water bottle bottle on the ground full of a yellowish water. So somebody dumped their piss bottle out the window, which I get it. People are going to be like, hey, I don't want no piss bottle in my car. But what means, what makes that, don't throw this out in the road. Not only is it a water bottle that shouldn't be on the road anyway, and or, you know, disposed of in that fashion. Nasty, nasty boys don't mean a thing. Ba, 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 da, da, ba, da, ba. Mm, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Yeah, I saw uh, the small Lamborghini, I think the Diablo on Golf Road earlier, but I was uh, trying to think where the hell I was. Oh, I was parked. I got on my bike and turned off the camera. So yeah, you guys didn't see that. Boom, successfully downshifted all the way to first. Nasty. Why is it in my head? That's like a song. Okay, so I'm hot. Hang on. It's mm, marginally better. Oh boy. Okay, there's dust in my eyeballs now. Why is everyone breaking? Oh no, no. Yeah, sometimes I think of that violent femme song, Please Do Not Go. Yeah, let's try Algonquin Road last year. See what happens. <laughs> Yeehaw. 
I just wanted to get off of Randall, man. Randall kind of sucks. Randall kind of sucks big time. All the lights, all the cars, all the moron, morons. Picante Mexican Grill. I would try that. I'd try that for a dollar. Hanging onto your box. Hmm. Just looking at how they tied that up. There are no ropes in the back. It's all in the front. So that might help you when you stop, but what about when you floor it? Just accelerating. Is that gonna throw that box backwards, people? Use your brains. And you really think your two hands, barely grabbing on the slippery cardboard, is gonna keep that big behemoth of on top of your car from sliding off? What the f I need some, probably some sun stuff where I bake in the sun. Yeah, get moving, man. Get the air flowing. Forty and a fifty-five. That's a big ass truck. We're gonna have a lot of footage today. I brought three GoPro batteries, or at least two, two extra. One running now. I've been riding a while. What did I leave? Twelve something after twelve, maybe twelve thirty. We'll call it. So I've been riding, it's almost three, so I've ran like two and a half hours. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's about right. And my ass hurts now. It's sore, sweaty, whatever you want to call it. So about two and a half hours, it starts to be an issue. And I've gotten up out of the seat too, like a few times. So, so what does that tell you? <sighs> it tells you that my seat is not very comfortable. That's what it tells you. All right, I'm totally getting sun block, whatever it's called. Okay. Whole bunch of riders, man, all probably coming from Woodstock. So here's something I gotta write down when I get home is uh, eyeglasses or sunglasses holder it doesn't have to be a lock i mean that would be cool too but i would think your glasses would heat up pretty nasty but then hey maybe you get a case that locks on your bike you know although you guys would say just get luggage so i hear you but i'm trying to i'm trying to look out for you bobbers and all that you know like and street bobs like me that are kind of half bobbers so you know Oh, don't kick up the rocks in my face, you ass. What is this guy doing? He's got to be on the phone. Yeah, I'm trying to look out for all you uh, guys trying to keep your bikes lean and mean. So I need an eyeglass holder because when I take my glasses or sunglasses off to, uh, you know, and I got this vest or my leather and I put them in the pocket I'd hang like a stem in there they always fall out while I'm putting on my helmet every single time they smack the pavement and for my prescription eyeglasses that's not cool they're gonna scratch up uh, etc so I need something on the bike ideally where I could see them where it's just temporary it could just be a loop somewhere on the handlebars here and it just has just enough of a little thing sticking out to stick a I stem in. That's it. That's all I need. Of course, now that I'm thinking of that, 
I'm thinking I could probably just hang it on these cables here. But you know what I'm saying. Oh, a bug just splattered. It's a weird place for a barn. Especially in low ground, it's gonna get flooded. What's up, cop? So, uh, Hercules, Hercules. So this is Hercules Road, I just noticed. Apparently going that way. All right, I think we're coming up on the Harley dealer. So you guys will see it. I don't quite want to walk in there with my helmet on. So if you guys don't, if you guys haven't yet, just, uh, yeah, here it is. Just check out this uh, Woodstock Harley dealer. It's humongous. You'll see in a second when I pull in here, so. Oh, not here, but up here. Look at all these bikes. Look at how big this building is. It's crazy. 